Hi all, it's Piotr. Let's have a quick look at Amazing Spider-Man Epic Collection Spider-Man or Spider-Clone. Creators Conaway, Wayne, Andrew. It's number 9 from the years 1975-1977 at and it contains issues 143, 164 and annual number 10. As you can see, this epic contains origin or the original clone saga. The debut of Gwen Stacy clone, the debut of Ben Reilly, that was not known by that name, but that name in this album, but was, was clone of Spider-Man. I'm one of those that really appreciate how Clone Saga was created, maybe not in full. In the 90s maybe it was too long for, I don't know, second, maybe se uh, third omnibus. It was too much for me. But still, the, the whole storyline was cool and great for me. If I look what was accomplished by that. Here we have Peter Parker, Mary Jane. In love, everything looks cool, normal, nothing wrong. And then we have issue 144 that makes first May see blonde girl, and then At Peter Parker apartment, Gwen Stacy back from the dead. How the heck is this possible? It's it should not be possible. Peter thinks he's crazy. That this is not happening to him. We have Scorpion in the middle. Peter is still thinking that he's getting mad with everything that is happening here. And here we have confirmation that Gwen Stacy, this Gwen Stacy is a real Gwen Stacy and that her body is still in her grave. How is it possible that we have two Gwen Stacys? Well, here is the person that did everything. This is Miles Warren Aka Shackle. Professor that thinks that Peter is the guilty one for killing Gwen Stacy two years ago. So his machination goes very, very deep. As you can see, even Aunt is attacked by Scorpion because of Shackal. We have Tarantula. And step by step, we are getting into... Here we start. Gwen Stacy is doing nothing, even if she has Shackle and Tarantula near, near her. Shackle is really, really into what he is doing. He even tells Peter, who probably took the samples of his and Gwen Stacy's blood. And then he unmasks himself and tells Peter that he is Miles Warren. And here we have the start of confrontation. 100, Amazing Spider-Man 149. And Shia Stadium. Explanation of the cloning. Of creation of Gwen Stacy. Everything in this album. And here we have... Two Spider-Mans. One of them is Clone, one of them is Peter Parker. Even we have the final confrontation, at least for now. We have Epilogue, that clone of Gwen Stacy goes on her separate way, and Peter and MJ start her day relationship again. In 150, Peter thinks if he is the clone or not, 
he starts to check stuff, fights Sandman and others, to think, to get his mind clear what to do. Even if you have tests, he destroys them. He knows that he is Spider-Man. And in issue 151, he takes the body of his clone, one of the smokestacks, and he his spiders and someone is watching him, even when he threw this here. And it it will take a lot of years because into 1990 some you will find out who was the one that was watching him and what happens with Spider Clone. Then we have Shocker. A lot of enemies. So something for everyone, depending who who you like when Spider-Man is fighting with. At last, the long-awaited wedding of Betty Brand and Lead leads Amazing Spider-Man. 156 and there's this mysterious guy wor working over everywhere here's the wedding and then we learn that this mysterious guy is the coming back of Dr. Octopus so we have uh, quite a lot of enemies as you can see we even have the hammerhead and later on we have for me at least it was fun to read this i wish <coughs> show you what i'm talking about spider car we have even punisher knife flower from x-men we have Jigsaw and then we have Kingpin I don't know why but I like how he was provided how his story was done here fights with Spider-Man with bare hands and using other tricks to stop him And Kingpin loose, going down. And at the end, we have covers, a message from Stanley, the picture of all friends of Spider Man. So this album, if you want to check out how Spider Clone was created, who created it, how Shackle prepared everything, how the first coming of Gwen Stacy shocked Spider-Man, this is album for you. You have Dr. Octopus, you have Kingpin. I really like this storyline, so I hope you will check it out one day. I know that whole Clone Saga is not best in if you think about some chapters. It was too long, but going back, I still think it's good storyline. Even this old one, I still like it.